Uh, my kids are older, so I go to McDonald's a lot less now, which is good. Um, but we still go. Are you clapping for McDonald's or against it? I, I don't know. Let's just clap for Grimace. We don't see him much anymore. Very tiny hands, Grimace. All right! Um, but we always get that hot apple pie there. Ooh, it's good. It's, it's more like a burrito with hot apple glue in it. You know? It's that hot little rectangle in a box. It's so hot, there's a warning on the box. Caution, filling is hot. And the last time I ordered one, the lady was having a really intense day behind the counter, and so she actually said it to me. She goes, here's your hot apple pie, and be careful, that filling is hot. <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, whatever. And she goes, hey, I'm serious. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the warning, lady. I did not realize the lethal hot lava inside. Uh, does this come with McTongs before I go? Some flame retardant McGloves for me to pick? You know what? I'm going out into a dark parking lot. Why don't you give me five or six of these, and in case I get mugged, I can just throw some hot apple pies on him. You'll find rectangular burns all over his face. Someone should get killed in a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie with a hot apple pie, right? <laughs> CSI finds him in the morning. Got him with the hot apple pie again. <laughs> We've got to get a warning on that box. <laughs> As coroner, I must reply, this man was killed with apple pie. <laughs> it's a callback! <laughs> That does sound like a waste to die in Munchkinland. It sounds delightful, death by apple pie. <laughs> uh, another dessert that I love is the fortune cookie. There's paper inside, so don't learn that the hard way. <laughs> you crack it open and you read a fortune. Here's my problem. I think the fortune cookie people are slacking off. I think they're getting soft. He's like, preach. <laughs> they're not predicting the future anymore on those. They're just saying little abstract phrases and sayings like, a gathering of friends will bring you happiness. Like, that's not a fortune. That's a, like a Martha Stewart helpful hint cookie. I can't use that. Or they'll say something I already know, like, saving money will prove financially rewarding. Well, no, duh. Thank you, fortune cookie. Let me write that down. Saving money? What? That's why I kept my very favorite fortune. This was real. I cracked open the cookie, and it said... Maybe someday you will go to the moon. <laughs> I said, now we're talking. That's a prediction, man. That takes guts. That's laying it out there. I'm going to the moon. Although it said maybe at the front of the whole thing. That's what made me laugh. Like, just in case. Like, the legal department got a hold of it first. <laughs> You know, like they're working in the fortune cookie factory on those teeny tiny typewriters. They're like, <laughs> going to the moon. That is good. Yeah. Better put a maybe in there. We don't want a lawsuit. You don't want me showing up. You said I'd go to the moon. <laughs> oh, maybe. My bad. Sorry. If you're shopping at the grocery store for a dessert, you might want to pick up a Sara Lee cake. One of those Sara Lee pies or danishes in the white box. They're good, they're good. But the slogan for Sara Lee, do you know it? Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. Nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. Nobody doesn't. You know what I don't like, Sara Lee? Double negatives. Your slogan is co a confusing logic problem. There's too much work there. It's, it's, that's weird. Like, what were the other rejected slogans at the Sara Lee uh, factory? Like, Sara Lee, we're not ungood. <laughs> Sara Lee isn't not liked. Those that don't not like Sara Lee never don't not tell us. <laughs> Hi, I'm Corey Edwards. That was just a short clip of my act, but if you'd like to see the whole show, you can go on Dry Bar Comedy Plus right now and see it. Right now.